Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my Let's Play series featuring the Feed the Beast Mine Crack Mod Pack. Uh, here I am basically in uh, the little ravine here that I've been using for, for mining out resources. Uh, basically found me a zombie in a beehive, but what I'm looking for is rubies. Uh, let's see if we can find me some rubies here. So yeah, basically found me some... Uh, some assorted ores from Thumbcraft, uh, Vanilla. Actually, I do need some gold anyway, so I'm good there. Awesome. And, uh, let's see, there's... Ah, here we go. Perfect. Okay. So, yeah, I need to go ahead and mine that, and, uh, of course, that gold, and be right back. And this is what we need the rupees for. Needed an MFE. Very good. Uh, so yes, of course the MFE is going to be used for power storage down in my uh, main area down there. And uh, let's go ahead and get down there. And I think I still have something that I need to craft. I'm down here. And here. Alright, let's get that soul cage out of there. Very good. Alright. So we have soul cage. Now, soul cage. Ah, uh, let's see. I need a piece of cobblestone right there. Mining drill. Up, 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 up. Ah, dang it. Okay. There. Okay. That's better. Now, mining drill right there. Cool. Now that we have set up that, let us get our water flowing and see about how we're going to set this up. Okay. Okay, so we got everything going there. Let's take our soul shard. In you go. I said, in you go. Hey now. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. Okay. Now, how are we supposed to do that? Yeah, it should just go in there. Hmm. So I'll get you. Alright, I gotta figure this one out. Okay, problem. Uh, apparently, I need to get uh, this soul shard here to level 4 before I can actually put it into this soul cage. Which is not cool, but hey, it just means more work for me. Anyway, I think I'm going to see about doing that, uh, but not before I, can, I go ahead and get some power stuff going over here. Uh, so, let's see, let's grab our MFE, and we are going to give me some more room over here. I think the MFE is going to go right here. Okay. Well, in other news, I have enough sulfur goo to get me a crowbar. Very nice. Uh, so let's go ahead and look up the recipe for that. Crowbar. Hello. Ah, uh, so let's see. Four sulfur goo, three iron. Okay. I have iron. Good. And let's go ahead and craft. Yay. And one, two, three iron. There we go. There's our crowbar. Cool. Uh, so the crowbar is actually a really nice tool for railcraft. And uh, yes, with that we are going to uh, basically use that with some of our different rails, which I do intend on using. And it'll be really nice. Well, here I go again making me another uh, electric wrench. Uh, let's just say that uh, I've died in this world a little bit more than I've put on here, so yeah. Possibly in one of those times that I died, I lost an electric wrench. But whatever, no worries, that we have another. Very good. Uh, so I just need to fill that up, and uh, then we can do some other cool stuff. Okay, electric wrench charge. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, what was it? Shift... M? Or was it N? Bother. Okay, let's see. Option.
Missions, controls. Don't switch key K. Okay. Ah, uh, so shift K. Come on. Or was it hold K and right click? Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, lossless wrench mode. Good. Now let's go ahead and take this extractor out of here. Boop. Hello, buddy. And get out of the way, buddy. Okay. Now, where is my extractor? Come here. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, let's find us a crafting surface. And dig into our ender pouch here. I'll grab some advanced machine block here and some electrolyzed water cells. Uh, now, let's go in here. This is actually going to be a part of the advanced machines add-on for Industrial Craft 2. Let's uh, go ahead and put these electrolyzed water cells in such fashion, advanced machine block there, and our extractor. That'll get us a centrifuge extractor. Cool. So the centrifuge extractor, really nice machine. Let's go ahead and plop it down here, back exactly where it was. Perfect. Uh, now you'll notice here that it has a speed setting on it. Uh, so what happens here is as it processes different items, it increases its speed here and it makes the processing go faster due to that speed. That's uh, a very nice thing. Uh, I actually have upgraded all of these machines to their equivalents in either the, uh, the vanilla IC2 or the advanced machines add-ons. Uh, so yeah, you have heat for the induction furnace, you have uh, pressure for the singularity compressor, and the rotary macerator as well. Cool. Uh, so, these are really nice machines, especially if you have a lot of stuff to process. Um, also in another instance, but I am not going to get into that until I have a little bit more power generation going. Uh, so I just need to get me some stuff going here, and we shall see how it goes. All right, time to do a few things here. Uh, first of all, let's do a do a quick uh, demo of the induction furnace here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and make some refined iron here. So uh, this will actually just get our heat starting to build up here, and then it'll start to process. So go ahead and wait for that a little bit. Uh, next, we have an electrical engine. Uh, now, if, if you need the recipe for that, there we go. Cool, cool. Tin gear and tin ingot. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and plop that down. Right. Hey. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Um. Next, I need to get me a machine that I have, so I'll be right back. You know what, let's go ahead and finish our demo here. Uh, as, as you can see, our heat on our induction furnace has gone up to past 10%, and it's going a little bit faster than it was before. And uh, very cool stuff. So yes, it's very much advantageous to use the induction furnace when you have a lot of stuff to, to uh, burn. Very nice. Okay, back with what we have. Our machine in hand here, that'll be the rolling machine. Uh, now, the rolling machine, the recipe for that is... Come on. It's as such, just four pistons, crafting table, and four pieces of iron. Cool. And uh, let's go ahead and plop this down here, right there. Okay, now let's get our electric, electric wrench. Or do we need the electric wrench? I need... Uh, hmm... Okay, had to retrieve a wrench here, so yeah, the build craft wrench, let's go ahead and tap that to aim it at the rolling machine. Uh, now, main use of my rolling machine here, let's go ahead and open it up, and I'm going to actually make this stuff, mixed metal ingot. Uh, now, in, in regular IC2, you can use the mixed metal ingot using a regular crafting grid, uh, just using 
refined iron, copper, and tin. But uh, thanks to Greg and his tech, you need to use the rolling, rolling machine for this. Uh, also thanks to Greg and his tech, you actually have a bunch of different options to, to actually craft the mixed metal ingot. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is put some nickel in here. Uh, let's see, nickel, let's put a few of these in here. Uh, let's put some tin down at the bottom and some brass. Cool. And that's one way of getting our mixed metal ingot. Very much nice. Now, the only th other thing I need to do is lever, turn that thing on, and there we go. And then it'll start crafting. Very good. And yes, it does use MJs. To, uh, to craft this stuff. And very good. And keep going. It's also of note here, now the rolling machine does store energy and it actually keeps inputting energy uh, as it needs. So it's a good idea to not have your engines uh, filling this up when you don't need it. So there's some mixed metal ingot, very nice. Let's grab that. Now our mixed metal ingot we need to put in our, not extractor, but our compressor. Let's go ahead and put all of these in here. And yes, we have pressure building up on this. And there we go. So yeah, basically same thing as the induction furnace. That's just it's building up pressure and it'll process our goods here awesome stuff okay so our mixed metal lingot at least a little bit has processed to give us our advanced alloy uh, our advanced alloy is actually a pretty major part in the uh, in the crafting of these machines uh, specifically in the advanced machine block so the advanced machine block, let's go ahead and pull up the recipe for that. Machine block, there we go. Recipe for that is as such. Just a regular machine block, advanced alloy, and carbon plate. Very good. Oh wow, lots of grindy done. Uh, anyway, Grinding meaning uh, this here soul shard. I got 517 kills. Pardon. Ah, uh, yeah. I just need uh, f needed 512 there to get it up to tier four. And with that, we can go ahead and put the soul shard in our little spawner over here. I do want to get me some blocks though, so I can close this off asap. There we go. And place these two. Let's go. Let's see, where's my pouch drill? There we go. Okay, so. Now it's time for a real test of this. Okay, let's see if I can do it from up here. Come on, there we go. Okay, now, can I? Yes, I can. Sweet. Hmm. Might get mildly annoying. And uh, then it should be getting over here. There's cobble, cobble, and we should be getting some blaze rods here coming. There we go. Cool. Okay. Now, uh, we do need to get this over to here. Um, hmm. Not sure if I like that sound. I may have to make it go farther. Farther away, I should say. I uh, will see. 
Okay, I seem to be running into a small problem here. Uh, so yeah, we're just using one generator at the moment. Uh, so yeah, I do know how to fix this. Basically, I just need to move this generator up one block. Uh, that way, the tube that's that's feeding this thing will actually feed these three generators simultaneously because they would be equidistant from the source. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do that. Well, it looks like my theory was sound. I just needed to uh, to work on the implementation. Uh, so yeah, I did get this up up and running. Uh, before I just had the, the one pipe going to all three of these, however that didn't work. Ended up uh, putting some blaze ruts in the top slot here, which was not working. Uh, not working at all. So, go ahead and retrieve those, and now we're looking good. Got a nice bit of EU going in here. My MFE is powering nicely. At least, at least mildly nicely going at uh, 30 EU per tick on this wire here, that's nice, and very good stuff. Okay, this sound is getting mildly annoying, and oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, definitely time to get rid of those guys. Now, die, die. Ow. Um, fire resistance potion, please. Thank you. And okay, I need to disable this thing, like, right now. <laughs> so. Uh, let's see. Ow. Not going to go easy. Hey, oh man. <sighs> well, at least all my stuff is down there. Okay. Uh, and okay, so is that all my stuff? I hope none of that was lost there. And shoot. Might have been. Ooh, not cool. Um, ah, that needs to go that way. Okay. Okay. Now. Wow. Okay. Um, let's see. Another possibility here. My stuff might have been put into this chest. Good. At least most of it was. I lost my drill though. Oh bother. Okay, uh, so yeah, small addition here, just a, cons a uh, restriction pipe onto here with the chest, so yeah, just for anything that isn't a blaze rod and uh, stuff. Okay, now this is going to be mildly annoying, uh, so I need to make me another drill or make me a pick, and I'll be right back. Okay, that's all good. Now. I just need to go ahead and clean this up uh, since I am going to move this down another, I want to say, 10 blocks. Uh, we sh should be able to use this room for something else, such as storage, which would be really nice. Oh, why? Why? Anyway, um, I want to do something a little bit different, so I'm going to go ahead and put, say, Kit 7 Cobblestone in there for now. And uh, actually, I might have Cobblestone elsewhere. Or, excuse me, Smooth Stone. Uh, yeah, I want to do something a little bit different. Uh, I actually have been working a little bit with the Thongcraft stuff, and I want to make... Uh, the next tier of crafting table with Thongcraft. So I've been making some Thaumium, uh, which is cool. And it's time to see if I have stone around here. And I do. Ah, nice. Okay. Now, 
Let's go in here, I believe. Uh, let's see, we need to put the wand in there. Cool, now. Five stone. Four thomium. There we go. Eight arcane stone blocks. Cool, that is exactly what I needed. Perfect. So, uh, let's put that back on the hot bar to revive that. Now, uh, arcane stone blocks. It's basically easy stuff. We just put four of these on here and then tap it with the wand. Boop! There we go. There is our arcane table, I think. I think that's what it is. Anyway, uh, it's good stuff. We have just a little bit more advanced table here, and it actually has spaces for different aspects in Thongcraft here to add to that. Um, just right now, we're just going to use the uh, the crucible here for for that. Very good. Now, this is a good portion of the reason why I'm not even bothering with overclocker upgrades in these IC2 machines. Uh, simply because this rotary macerator, when it gets going, it uh, processes things pretty quickly. Uh, so, yeah. And uh, once again, once I get a little bit more in the way of power generation going, then I actually can, can keep this macerator up and running. So, very good stuff. Now, well, I found me a nice ravine here, and apparently I've been there due to that, uh, that torch over there. But, yeah, good stuff. This particular ravine, just right underneath my base, uh, it connects to another ravine, which is cool. So, yeah, I'm going to have to explore that a little bit more. But, yes, went ahead and finished making me the lowered room here for the blaze spawner. Very good. And so with that, I just need to get it set up. I basically, you know the drill. And uh, we'll hopefully be getting some more power generation, uh, at least at a decent rate. Okay, so we got our room up here. Now, final touch. Boom. And... Oh, come on. There. Ooh, fire, fire. Fire and fire. Okay. Cool. So that's that. Painful. And let's see how much. Okay, so some of the rooms in here are gonna have the creepy sounds up. Yeah, over here. So ah, uh, it doesn't sound too bad. And up here, no sounds at all. That is what I wanted. Very good. All right. Uh, so with that, there's our power generation. Awesome. Okay, so I think what I want to do here is tear these four machines out and put them back uh, down there, over by where my new MFE is. So, uh, time to all four of these need to go away. And come here. Thank you. Okay. Cool. So, uh, let's see. I also need that LV transformer. So, excuse me. And, mining drill, please. Thank you. Yep. And my wire. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Okay, I've got my machines up here and, uh, if you remember, I told you that I I did have a little bit of a different means of of operating these once I got me some better power generation. Uh, so let me go ahead and just put down a lever and some red alloy wire here. Let's flip that lever, shall we? Boop. Okay. Now let's double check, make sure things are going, and they are very good. Uh, so now, with the redstone signal applied, our induction furnace, at least, is getting hot without having to burn anything. Okay, so, uh, let's see, I just need to make sure that power levels are good. It looks like they are. 
Awesome. Ah, uh, yeah, now it does take power to actually do this. So, yeah, as you can see, our furnaces are, excuse me, our generators are going uh, because these are consuming power because, yeah, they are on. And uh, with that, we should be able to have these things going full time. And our power levels are good. And that'll level out once these things max out. Cool. Uh, so yeah, I'll go ahead and be, be back once these things power up all the way. Okay, I've got my machines up here, and uh, if you remember, I told you that I I did have a little bit of a different means of of operating these once I got me some better power generation. Uh, so let me go ahead and just put down the lever and some red alloy wire here. Let's flip that lever, shall we? Boop. Okay. Now let's double check, make sure things are going, and they are very good. Uh, so now with the redstone signal applied, our induction furnace, at least, is getting hot without having to burn anything. Okay. So, uh, let's see. I just need to make sure that power levels are good. It looks like they are. Awesome. Uh, yeah, now it does take power to actually do this. So, yeah, as you can see, our furnaces are, excuse me, our generators are going uh, because these are consuming power because, yeah, they are on. And uh, with that, we should be able to have these things going full time. And our power levels are good. And that'll level out once these things max out. Cool. Uh, so yeah, I'll go ahead and be, be back once these things power up all the way. Okay, time for a load test. Uh, so basically we have our furnace up to 100%, uh, and these are up to their max. Cool. So what I'm going to do here, uh, just really quickly, I'm going to burn two stacks of cobblestone and sand. Uh, yeah, half a stack of coal really quick, and some sticky resin will be extracted. Cool. So here we go. Boop, boop, and boop, and boop. Cool. So, yeah, I was going to burn through that pretty quick. Very nice. And there's that. See? No need for overclockers. Okay, so let's take this coal dust once it's done. There we go. And turn those into those. Oop, oop, uh, we need to boop raw carbon mesh and stick those in the compressor. Very good. Okay, there's some carbon plate. There is a good bit of rubber. There is two stacks. A stack of glass and a stack of stone. Very good. And how's our power going? That <laughs> is maxed out. Very good. All right. Uh, so that's looking good. And let's take a look at what our surplus is. And we're almost at a stack there. And why is there ink sack? Oh yeah, that's got to be okay. I also have ink sacks coming in. <laughs> Very good. All right. So that was a, a very successful test. Yeah, this is definitely looking good. All right. Uh, so with that, at least I have some decent ore processing and uh, other stuff done here. So with that, I'll go ahead and end the episode. I do need to make a nice mining expedition within uh, the space of this episode next. So I will do that and uh, see you then. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you on the next one.